Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today I'm bringing you another case review for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, today we're going to get into the Ring K Wave in the metallic chrome color. Now, this is the first time I've actually done a Wave series case for Ring K. I've done plenty of Ring K cases in the past. If you've been following me, you do know that I always get tons of Ring K cases. The guys send me cases and they look out for me. But this is the first time I'm actually doing a Ring K Wave. And from the packaging, it seems like a very solid case. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Like I said, guys, if you've seen my, my channel before, you do know you, you, you're familiar with the Ring K packaging. Nothing simple. I mean, plain and simple, guys. Nothing too too crazy eco-friendly packaging so let's go ahead and slide right into it and once again i do want to give a huge shout out for ring k guys for always sending me cases to review when i get a new device really appreciate it guys so as always you get your thank you card here product reviews if you like a, a, a case actually give a product review even though a little note guys even though i do these product reviews on youtube i also go to their amazon websites usually amazon product links and also leave a quick review there and usually i might try to link my video to the review just a little quick thing to help them out guys because some guys really you know only buy cases based off reviews so let's take a look around the case guys now as you can see and i'm guessing this is a dual part case two part case but we're going to try to install it all at one we're not going to separate it so on the right side we do have that raised power button there flip it over on the bottom you have it cut out for your headphone adapter type c port type c port excuse me microphone cut out speaker cut out s pen cut out all spot on on that left side raise volume up volume down as you notice your volume button is all one big button no separation you have your bixby button there on the top side guys you do have it's completely closed with your cutout for your microphone and on the back you do have your cutout for your dual speakers oh excuse me dual speakers flash and your fingerprint scanner there on the bottom you do get some ring k branding here and this material right here guys this is some type of the wave pattern this bottom half is a plastic and this top half is a rubber tpu so a two-part case, two type of materials that should form and make a pretty solid case overall. But one thing about this rubber, guys, it is not flimsy. It actually is very, very stiff, and the plastic just reinforces it around the side. Now, on, on, the, on the edges, guys, we do have that little bit of rubber lip, but you're mostly going to be holding on to the plastic portion. So we'll see how that feels once we pop the phone into the case. So let's get it. And like I said, I'm going to try to install this is all in one. I don't really want to take it apart. And it seems like we can do that. Very snug fit, actually. Let's knock some of these fingerprints off. All right, and get straight to it, guys. So on that right side, we have that raised power button, guys. Nice, tactile, no issues there whatsoever. On the bottom, all your cutouts are spot on and getting that S Pen out, no issue at all. Pop that S Pen back in there. Unlocking the device. We have your volume up, volume down, works very nice, no issues there. And your Bixby button, can't connect, check your neck. I have it on airplane mode, so I don't get any notification, guys. But Bixby button, as you see, is very responsive. So, top side, like I said, cut out for that microphone and flip it over on the back, guys. All your cutouts for your camera sensors, everything there. And if you do lay it on this back, guys, it is recessed in there. All your sensors are recessed. So in that case, you can actually uh, protect all your sensors there. So you don't have to worry about anything getting scratched up there. Next, let's take a look at the lay on the table protection. Now, as you guys can see, it does offer a little, a little ski ramp slope like effect, like as I love to call it, on your top and your bottom of the device. So if you were to drop this, uh, you should be protected a little bit as long as it drops flat. Now, don't quote me, guys. This case is not rated for any heavy-duty drop protection, but medium to small drop, guys, you should be pretty all right in that case next let's take a look at how the case actually feels and this case is very very tight on this phone guys it's super tight as you can see i'm really you can look at my thumbs guys i'm really really trying to pull to get this case off and it's not actually given so very very stiff case up here on the top very very case very nice fitting case on the bottom very snug down here as well and you guys know those are the weak points when dealing with those cases and that's the most important point with cases when i review them guys i like to see how the size fit make sure a case doesn't get an okay in my book when it fits all loose but ring k did an excellent job guys this case fits like a glove excellent excellent case 
Next, let's take a look at actually how it feels in your hand. And like I said, guys, it feels very, very solid. There's no creaking going on whatsoever. It doesn't feel like a cheaply made case. Like I said, very solid, guys. In the hand, feels very thin, remains very thin in my opinion, and it actually gives a pretty good, decent amount of grip. Like I said, you have that rubber edge there combined with the plastic frame going around it. For, so for my hands, it's not real slippery. The plastic is not real slippery. If your hands, you know, develop sweat or something like that over time, I may, I can see that might possibly be an issue. But for me, it doesn't feel bad at all. It feels good with me holding it in my hand. So guys, this is an excellent, excellent case. This is the Wave Series from Rinke. Like I said, the first time actually doing a Wave Series case. So if you head over to Amazon, guys, the price will run you $12.99. Now that's for this color variant. They also have other color variants like I was stating, and they run from $7.99 to $12.99. So this is the metallic chrome version. So this case will run you $12.99. And that is not a, a bad price point for the quality and the fit finish of this case. Now we'll drop the product down in the description. As always, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.